In this November lookbook, I am going to show you some ways to incorporate orange birds into your wardrobe. A statement piece like this can be a bit tricky to work with sometimes because unlike the black and browns that complement most outfits, these babies are the first thing people see when you walk past. Chances are you will be scanned from the bottom up. So it's important to find pieces in your wardrobe to complement these boots. The first piece that went with is this muted green trench coat from Dotty. I think we all know that green complements orange. They are part of the earthy toned family along with browns and reds because they all resemble colors of nature. Underneath, I wore polka dot stockings and a pair of black shorts. It comes with studded pockets and a wavy waistband. The extra details will be covered up in most of the outfits shown today, so really any black shorts will do. On top, I added a hand-knitted brown scarf my aunt made me. This brown is a really versatile color to wear. And just being a bit creative here, I added a brown belt around the scarf to cinch the waist. Another complementary color that goes well with orange is blue. Not just any blue, a deep ocean or navy cobalt blue. I guess it's because it's also part of the nature theme. I got this woolly jumper from Sports Girl. What caught my eye when I first saw these was the patchy blend of blue, grey and blacks. It's quite unique and it does remind me of the ocean. I also added a Dalmatian scarf on top to finish the look off. Black and white just goes with everything, even without saying. Which brings me into outfit number 3. This white sweater with black lining is by a label called Lux. It has a v-neck and the placement of the black linings reminds me of the cricket sweater uniforms. It is mid-length and sits quite well above the shorts. To balance the colours, I accessorise with an orange and white striped scarf on top. This look also goes well with my versatile brown scarf from earlier. Next up, here comes the good old plaid. Don't we all have a couple of these in our wardrobes? I think I got this top from one of those Asian clothing stores again. It's by a label called Maxim. I love the length of this shirt, just long enough to cover my behind. It comes with huge side pockets, which I love, and a cute little hoodie. I didn't add any accessories with this look because I think the plaid pattern makes the top half pretty busy looking already, so just having the hoodie is enough. Finally, we can't go by this season without some kind of skull print or pattern piece. This light brown jumper from Sunny Girl is one of my favorite go-to pieces during the cold weather. It's loose fitting, warm and so comfortable to wear. The material is made from a towel-like material with little loopy ends. The skull pattern is layered over the jumper with netting and lace detailing. And for this outfit, I wore my nudie infinity scarf I got from Valley Girl. I literally walked past it on a mannequin and took it off because it was their last one. Here is a fun way to wear an infinity scarf. Loop it around your neck twice, then twist the two loops and voila, I call it the magic twist. <laughs> so that is my take on orange birds for this season. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know which is your favorite outfit. I actually filmed this video about a month ago but just managed to finish editing it now. The weather here in Melbourne is actually getting really warm. We're going into summer for the holiday season. So my next fashion video will probably be a summer one. Please rate and favorite if you like this video and follow me on Instagram for snapshots of my daily life.